Hi friends, welcome back and if you're new, welcome. My name is Nikki. I hope that you will consider subscribing. I am currently uploading multiple times a week. I was always gonna, almost gonna say daily, but I'm like, let's not push it. But I'm uploading a lot, at least three times a week, usually more. Uh, two other channels, if you're interested, I have a vlog channel, which I always link down below. It's just traveling, relationship, lifestyle stuff. I also have a beauty channel. I always say, hence, this is the reason why usually in these videos, I'm all dolled up because I film multiple videos at a time and I have a beauty channel, hence the bright pink lipstick, the lashes, the whole shebang. Let's jump into it. What sold video? I have not done a what sold video in at least a month, maybe more, and I've had a lot of sales. I'm just gonna go with some recent sales because I can't go back to the last time. Let's start with Poshmark. I'll move over and put a photo of things here. I'm sorry if you can hear my fan. I just told everyone in the last video I filmed, I'm a very frugal franny and I'm refusing to turn the air on right now. It is currently 90 degrees outside, 85 degrees in my apartment, and I have some little wonky fan. I need to invest in a couple nice fans. If I'm gonna be frugal, I at least need some nice fans, but we have air here. I'm just refusing to, <laughs> I'm hanging on as long as I can before I turn it on. First up, Express. A lot of people don't like picking up Express. By the way, these sales are from Poshmark. Um, a lot of my reselling friends are like, they just pass. It's a mall brand. You find it everywhere. I like picking it up, one, because I send it to ThreadUp a lot, and it does pretty well there. I can net a profit of at least $10 or more, which is great, especially if I'm not photographing, storing the item. Um, and sometimes if I sell it myself, I net even more. Case in point, this Express white black button up picked it up at the bins it was so lightweight you guys and she gave me a five stars sold it for 18 so how much did that give me oh she said lovely top and such fast delivery thank you for so thank you so much stay safe i didn't even know that so my earnings were 14.40 i paid maybe 25 cents for this at the bins that's the caveat i probably only would pick it up at the no i only pick it up at the bins meaning i'm getting it for less than two dollars because at my bins it's 229 or i haven't been in so long 224 a pound and shirts usually are i mean they're always way less than a pound so you can do the math there another i think all of these items i picked up at the bins yeah so I'll stop telling you that. All these items are picked up at the LA bins. New Tags, Adidas, Boston Marathon Tank. This, did I pick up at the bins? I think, no, no, no. This is the only one that wasn't from the bins. And then I just said that. This was um, from a Goodwill store. I think it was $5. Anyways, it sold on Poshmark for... 30. This was new with tags, Boston Marathon tank. I never see these comments. It says, thank you very much. I've been looking for this Adidas Supernova singlet for quite some time, and they're very difficult to find. Also, thank you for the Clinique scrub. I always tell you guys this. I think I tell you this. I receive a lot of free makeup that I just cannot use because of my beauty channel. I am a make, I'm not a makeup hoarder, but I purchase a lot of makeup myself. I get samples. So sometimes if you spend a certain amount with me, I'll just throw in a free gift because I cannot use all this stuff. Um, I donate a lot of makeup and then I'll just give it away for free to family and friends and if you purchase from me. So I think I must have thrown in a little, I remember it was a little Clinique tester scrub and apparently she really liked it so that's great so i earned 24 dollars on that which is great because i think i paid no more than five bucks for that these mountain khakis i was watching maybe it was street savvy she's another reseller here on youtube and she lives in colorado and she talks a lot about buying active gear fishing clothing hiking clothing i would usually pass it up i do find it a lot here in la but it's usually kind of heavy and bulky, but I saw these and I thought of her and I was like, well, she always says to pick this stuff up. I probably could have sold these for more. These are mountain khakis. They're men's like hiking fish. I think they're like hiking, fishing, hunting. I don't know. Pants. Um, sold for eight. How much do they sell for? 18 gave me 1440. I picked these up from the bins. I, I wouldn't even say it weighed a pound, maybe half a pound. So I probably paid a dollar fifty for them. Not bad. These aren't the highest earning flips, but they're flips. The thing is, I, I am a mix. My business model is a mix of buying more higher priced items and selling at higher prices for higher net profit, 
or maybe some it depends but I try to get things as low as price as possible that's why I like to shop at the bin so I unlike some people I'll pick up mall brands because I'm spending so little on it and I have that other uh, sales outlet of thread up that I send a lot of stuff to so I don't mind picking things up that maybe will only net me a profit of honestly a net profit of 10 to 20 bucks I don't get mad about obviously I'd like my average sales price to be a little bit higher but hey I'll do it quick fast flips keep the lights on friends uh, I've had these shorts forever this is something I would not purchase again these are a Mosimo which I'm pretty it's Target um, star jean short size 2 I think it was the size they're really cute shorts has like the flag and stuff just I've had those for an entire year it took to sell they sold for five dollars I got 12 bucks I picked it up from the bin so that's good but a year to sell those no just know at least for myself I've noticed the smaller sized items just take longer to sell I had an extra extra small BB sequence dress that I showed you guys in a what sold video months ago took a year to sell and it was new with tags it was super cute I would have worn it I couldn't squeeze one leg into it excuse me burping up coffee because I don't drink coffee and I'm trying to stay awake right now this top I thought was really cute so this is an Athleta kind of like a boho print I don't know what you call it paisley print um, swimsuit top it's size 38 D 36 double D I've had this for a year it took I kept getting the lowest ball offers and I was like no buster <laughs> I'm just kidding you're not a buster if you do a low ball offer I low ball all low ball offer people all the time and I always tell you guys don't take it personal um, but I was just like this is cute I people were offering like five bucks ten bucks and it's Athleta. Athleta is not affordable brand new so this finally someone sent me an offer of 24 I was like fine I've had it for a year earnings were 1920 to me I picked it up from the bins like I'm telling you so hey a $19 profit I'll take it I don't like holding on to things that long but I do have the storage for it so I'd probably pick that up again these sold very fast I picked these up three months ago these are new with tags Puma um, gray draw drawstring golf shorts I would have never known these were golf shorts if they didn't say it I think they say somewhere on it like golf shorts and I was like these are for golf anyways these were a sample I found these at the bins this is the type of flip I love I, they were new at tags for 60 uh, I just wanted to move these quickly she offered 40 I said fine and I net 32 bucks this cost me less than a dollar I'll take it those are the bins finds that I want to do more often I want a higher net earnings to myself like I would like my average earning per item net earnings to myself I'm saying that weird I can't think of the proper way to say it to be at least $20 but I'll still do those fast cheap flips so that's it for Poshmark. Let's go. Oh, I changed my eBay password recently and it's not it's not on my cell phone. Let me get my laptop. Let's move on to eBay. All right, I've got my laptop here. So if you see me looking down, I'm looking at my laptop. Let's move on to eBay. So first up, we have these REI women's black. They're UPF 30, so they have like sun protection in let me move my mic. In the actual shorts, which is cool. Pick these up from the bins, black. They sold for 20 bucks. I love a flip like that. I'm telling you guys, keep a lookout for that active gear wear, fishing, hiking, running, all that stuff. People are itching to get out of the house, out of the house this summer, so be on the lookout for that stuff. Here's something I wouldn't pick up again. This Ulta, oh God, I'm gonna butcher this. It was a Target collaboration with a brand. Here comes my doggy. All to Zara. I'm butchering it. I thought this was really cute. I was going to keep it for myself back in my skinny days. It's an extra small. I bought this in October of 2019. It finally sold for 10 bucks. And I was like, just go. I've had it for a while. I kept getting the low ball offers. So I was like, you know what? Let's just get rid of that. Um, this was actually given to me on consignment from one of my coworkers. I did a couple of uh, plus size men's hauls a couple months ago he gave me I'm not kidding like a hundred pieces of inventory to sell because he lost a hundred pounds so this was one of the items he gave me this is Ralph Lauren it's like men's blue stripe their traditional polo not a polo long sleeve button up this sold for 20 bucks I probably could have gotten more for it but I'm trying to move that inventory 
Um, and it was free to me, so I'll take it. These <laughs> I've had for a year. I was at the bins in LA. They're Brandy Melville, John Galt, blue tank top. The bin was full of them and my mom and I just picked up like, we probably should have picked up more. I think we picked up like 20. We could have gotten 100. They're just selling slowly but surely. I've had them for a year. I mean, they're so lightweight. They probably cost me like 10 cents and it sold for $12.59. I took it. I have them listed, I think, I don't even know what I have them listed for because people just offer and I just take it. And so I have seven left available. I should have picked up more. I mean, they had bins full of them, you guys. And so many people were just passing on it. I like picking up Brandy Melville, John Galt, because it sells. It may take a while, so you do need the storage. It may not sell quickly, but it sells pretty good for me. Uh, Talbots. Here's another mall brand that I feel like a lot of people skip over that I don't mind picking up. Even the most basic pieces like this black dress. It was pure silk. I could have gotten more for this. I just purchased it in December. It sold for 18 Picked it up from the bins. She offered that. I was like, you know what? Sales are slow. This is when sales were slow, friends. I didn't have much going on. I was just taking whatever I could to get through the Rona, okay? Whatever I could. And I wasn't buying any inventory. Um, new tag Zara black white tweed skirt. I purchased this in October. She offered $17.49. I said, bye bye. A lot of these low price sales were just keeping the lights on, friends. These I would not pick up again. I've had these for a year and one month. They finally sold. These are the junior, they're mud, the brand M U D D. They're junior size 17. They sold for $14.99. It's not bad, but it just took too long to sell. A year and a month for those. I did pick them up from the bins, but still. Nay, nay. Nay, nay, friends. Um, next up, this is a bins fine. This was a John Galt, again, Brandy Melville, white sweatshirt. And this sold in June, friends. So don't be afraid to pick up things year round. I sell everything year round. Sold for $16.99. I picked that up from the bins. This, this is a great flip. This hairspray I found at the most dustiest, crustiest looking grocery store in the middle of Southern California. It was $2 a bottle. I picked up 10 bottles. And because it is discontinued, there is such a huge market. I did a whole video on selling discontinued beauty products on Amazon and eBay. People will pay up for it. Don't come for me. I feel like some, it's a polarizing topic. People feel, some people feel like it's unethical to charge people more money because something's discontinued. But if Susie, Jane, Nicole, Keisha are willing to pay $50 for a hairspray, then that's what people are willing to, to pay for it because it's discontinued and I will sell it to you. So I sold this hairspray for $60 and I purchased it for $2. And I'm so sad, my last bottle is gone. I can't find it anywhere else. Be on the lookout, it does, it's not easy. It's not as easy as just finding clothes to flip. You do have to research, you have to scan things because I don't have the eye for it. I can't just look at something and say, oh, that's discontinued. I do have the eye for finding the stores though. It's those, usually it's those crusty looking like stores that you're kind of like, I don't know if I should go in there alone that have so many great things that you can resell at a high profit. So that's a little tip for me to you. Here's another one. I found this got to be smooth operator leave-in conditioner at some like crazy looking grocery store paid two dollars a bottle and i sold each bottle for 25 dollars, and she bought three bottles okay friends there's big money in selling hard to find beauty products hardware products kitchen products detergent products i'm telling you people want what they want and they will pay for it so keep an eye out tip for me to you i did a whole video on it i'll link it down below i feel like a lot of people don't talk well i i follow a lot of people that talk about it but i don't know I feel like a lot of clothing resellers miss out on a lot of money. And maybe that doesn't interest you. Maybe you don't want to do the work. It is more work. But I'm just saying, if you're willing to do the work, the money is there, sister. All right, friends. I've blabbed enough. Let me know if you like what sold videos. I will catch you in the next one. Don't forget to check out my most recent video right here.